He's not some crazy guy. He's gonna go out and go shoot people, you know? I believe that when Johnny escaped, he wasn't, his ideal was not to harm people. The family of captured Orange County fugitive Jonathan Tiu trying to make sense of his foiled shot at freedom. Tiu, part of a trio of jailed suspects whose daring break, eluding countless law enforcement agencies across the state, captured the nation's attention. Tiu's own family speaking only to Crime Watch Daily, stunned when finding out the news he had broken out. When I heard the news he escaped, I assume they got the wrong person, you know that he was in the jail, but they just couldn't locate him at that time period. Sister Tiffany Tiu telling Crime Watch Daily her brother couldn't bear five years of incarceration, what she thinks motivated his escape. He goes like to the roof, he sees how close he is to being outside free. He said, why can't that be him? Tiffany and her mother, Luann Wynne, overwhelmed with emotion as they recount their own harrowing days of panic and worry. Every minute Jonathan was on the run, a lifetime of agony for his family. I feel like my life is over because it just scares me every moment. I don't know what my son doing out there, how, how he lived, how people, especially how they trick him. The public shaken by the warnings from authorities, these three were extremely dangerous. The trio taking a cab driver hostage for several days, a gun shoved in his ribcage. Even an argument among the fugitives as they hunkered down in motel rooms with their prisoner over whether to kill him. 43-year-old Buck Duong ultimately turning himself in, leaving 20-year-old Jonathan with 37-year-old Hussein Nayeri, whom this family feared would harm him. My biggest fear is that like, the other guy is going to realise that Johnny's going to just weigh him down and have to get rid of him. But, you know, I mean, I know he's going to have we're getting rid of, had to kill him because he's not going to let my brother go and tell the police about his plan of escaping. The family sharing with us exclusively the contents of a letter written and mailed by Jonathan while running from the law, alluding to a plan sheriff's detectives say was six months in the making. He writes, I'm sorry I couldn't let you guys know because I knew you would freak out. Mum, I know you don't approve of my decision in this, but hey, at least be happy for me. I'm finally free after five years. Tiffany reading for us Jonathan's special message to his mother. This part is to you, Mum. Hopefully, one of these days, I'll be able to hold and kiss you again. Be strong. You're a strong woman. I love you more than anything. While Jonathan's family believes his letter was heartfelt, authorities say it may have been mailed to throw cops off his trail. The road to criminality seemed an unlikely path for a young Johnny T.U., once a straight A honour student with a penchant for drawing and a dream of designing video games. The future was promising until Luan divorced her husband, whom she says cut ties with his children. Jonathan, his brother Tony and Tiffany were profoundly impacted by the split. I had a father who I know is out there and alive and he didn't want us. Once their father left, Jonathan, then 15 years old, and his brother got involved in a gang, which led to their arrests for murder in a 2011 shooting. Though neither brother was the shooter in the case, each are being tried for murder. Tony is awaiting trial, but Jonathan was scheduled for a retrial in March after the jury in his first trial could not convict. He was so glad when the jury couldn't decide if he was guilty or not guilty. You know, it gave him extremely about he told me he could sleep better at night time <laughs> that he could lay in bed and thank god you know that god continued to watch over him <laughs> once showing a willingness to get his life back on track jonathan received his high school diploma behind bars even writing a graduation speech proclaiming for me i had to take the hard way in order to wake up my stay here in this institution has made me think about my future almost every single day what motivated Jonathan to take such a huge risk, only he knows. But Orange County District Attorney Tony Rakorkas tells Crime Watch Daily there will be consequences. First, the retrial for murder, for which Rakorkas insists Jonathan was intricately involved. His part is not as the actual shooter, although he had an active part. So he was in the, in the conspiracy and, and committing that crime for, for the benefit of the gang and a host of serious additional charges for daring to flee. It'll be a few days or weeks before we 
are able to have all of that evidence uh, laid out to the point where we'll be able to determine just exactly what we want to file. For the family of Jonathan Tiu, the bright light that once shined on his future is now overshadowed by an ever-darkening, daunting cloud. Was this the life he wants to continue leading on, or does he want to change and be a better person not for my mom, so she can like show him off to the world, like, look at my son, you know, I'm so glad he's my son.